Hey everyone, finish watching the next episode of Beetleborg's Metallics, The Poe and the Pendulum. The ghost of Edgar Allan Poe comes to Hillhurst to get his pet raven. He likes it there and decides to stay to write his new book. Harbell and Vylor are spying. It's kind of weird to see Vylor there too. I don't know what he's doing there, but uh, whatever. They overhear Poe tell the monsters he plans to interview each of them. They go to tell Nucus, who wants to steal the book and learn their secrets. He orders Les Fortunes to draw a new monster to steal the book. At Hillhurst, Poe puts the monsters through torture. Mums is strapped to a table below a swinging pendulum. Wolfie is bricked into the wall, and Fangula is nailed into his coffin. Flabber goes around looking for them, but Poe distracts him from finding them. Flabber sees Frankenbeans wearing Fangula's cape and acting silly. He asks him if he's seen Fangula, but Frankenbeans says no. The kids show up and Flabber tells them about the monsters going missing. Poe shows them his new book, Murders in the Rue Hillhurst. He says his book contains clues to find the monsters. Just then, Nukes' new monster comes in and steals the book. The kids follow and defeat the monster and return the book. Flabber flips through the book but can't find clues. Poe says he lied. It's aggressive marketing to make them want to buy the book. The kids and Flabber then see Poe and Frankenbeans talking together. It turns out they made a bet to see if Poe could make the monsters disappear. Then Frankenbeans takes off his head and things start spinning around the room. Flabber looks to the kids and then they take off their heads. It's then revealed this was all a dream, but the raven is still there. This is definitely an improvement over the previous episode, but its dream ending kind of ruins it. I like the idea of Edgar Allan Poe as a guest star, and he is utilized well enough for the most part. Harabel is spying as usual, but accompanied by Vylor. Vylor finally gets to do something, though it could all just be a dream, so maybe he actually is just still stuck doing nothing. If this was all a dream, I don't know why the Beetleborgs get an extensive battle scene. Oh wait, yeah I do, it's to eat up the runtime. I could talk about what Poe does to the monsters, but nothing comes of any of it. I was waiting for some kind of twist or reveal, but it never comes. It's a shame, as the tortures Poe inflicts on the monsters are all homages to his stories. Mums is strapped down under a swinging pendulum like the protagonist of The Pit and the Pendulum. Wolfie is bricked into a wall like the drunken friend in Cask of Amontillado. Fangula gets his coffin nailed shut, which doesn't happen exactly in any of Poe's works, but it is similar to the premature burial, which is about exactly what you'd think based on what the title says. Hey, wait a minute. If this was a dream, why didn't Flabber know what happened to the monsters? He saw what happened. It was all part of his dream. Oh, whatever. Nukes' latest monster, the creatively named Mole Monster, was voiced by Michael McConaughey. He had some roles in VR Troopers and Power Rangers and voiced Gork and Masked Rider. He's had an extensive career in voiceover, both in anime and cartoons. He also provided the ADR voice for Tatsu in the first two Ninja Turtles movies. He also does voices for many video games. One of note was Booger Man. If only he was in the last episode, we could have had somebody with two credits involving a Booger Man. Edgar Allan Poe was played by David Billman, who I can't find a single thing about. Like, you can tell they're really trying hard to make this guy look like Edgar Allan Poe, but he just does not. So yeah, this episode was a bit of a letdown. It starts off promising, but falls apart at the end. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya. Baseball, that crazy beetle.